Good morning, and welcome to the USB Speaker Showcase, an event that perfectly epitomizes the concept of customer experience. And it's customer experience that is about giving our customers the opportunity to actually see, feel, hear, and engage with our brand. And this is going to be key in differentiating you from your competitors moving into the future. Now, many companies focused on driving a better customer experience in 2016, and they did it very successfully. The first one is one that you will know, Amazon.com. Amazon identified that one of the key problems they had in their customer experience and service index was delivery times. So they invested heavily in technology, and they opened Amazon Air, and now they deliver their customers goods and services to their homes via drone. Another interesting one is Absolute Vodka. Now, this is an interesting one. Absolute wanted to find a way to take the hassle out of shopping for their customers. So what they did was they created a smart bottle, a smart bottle. And the smart bottle, what it does, is it senses when your vodka bottle gets very low, and it remotely orders you a new bottle. Okay. I'm not quite sure whether it phones Uber and gets you a cab after you've finished the bottle yet, but I'm sure that's in the planning. But one of the coolest ones that came out last year was Pepper the Robot, who was introduced by MasterCard and Pizza Hut. And what Pepper does, when you walk into a Pizza Hut outlet, he welcomes the guests, and then he takes their orders. But over and above that, what Pepper does is he gives each and every customer invaluable information on the vitamins and nutrients of the order that they've just placed. And then he conveniently and remotely debits your credit card for the privilege. <laughs> okay? So many successful companies used some incredible things in 2016 to drive a better customer experience. But not all of us are in a position to get robots to get our orders. Some of us drive much simpler businesses. So where do we start to create a customer experience strategy? And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for us to go back to the basics. Back to the basics where we f understand our customers better than our competition. And in this regard, what I'd like to do is introduce you to the customer that you're dealing with now. And they're known as the CX generation. <clears throat> Did you hear that? That's the balance of power changing. We are your neighbors, your brothers and sisters, coworkers, kids, your grandmothers. We're the driver sitting at the red light next to you, the other passengers on the plane. And now we have the power. The customer is always right, said those who didn't listen. But that was yesterday. Today we found our voice. We are strangers, but we are organized. We won't wait for your big data. We want whatever, whenever, wherever. Nine to five. We live 24 hours a day. We are a moving target. We move fast. We are a movement. We brought down the taxi industry. We are not the enemy. We are your opportunity. We are growing, getting better at getting better. We are not baby boomers. We are grandmothers who order Christmas gifts from a touchscreen. Gen X. Gen Y? No. We are Generation CX. And you can be too. If you listen to us, create for us. Generation CX. So now who we know who our customers are, We've got to work out very cleverly what they want. We've got to get out there and we've got to walk in their shoes to find the moments that matter to our customers. And the way that we do this is we go out there and we do customer experience mapping. We find every single moment that matters. But don't let this be done by the marketing department alone. 
Every single person in your business needs to be involved in the journey and the touch points of every single customer. Because employee engagement is the key to driving a customer experience strategy. And in the words of Richard Branson, the way you treat your employees is the way they will treat your customers. Thank you very much for your time.